when you're undoing wheel nuts it's always a good idea to push down rather than try and lift up allow me to demonstrate doing it this way it's definitely the wrong way doing it this way it's definitely the easy way now you're probably thinking why is he taking his wheel off two reasons one I want to have a look at my brake discs and pads and the second reason I want to paint my wheels I'll get my breath back Yeah, that's a two eye. So now I've cracked the wheel nuts, all I've got to do is lift the fan up. Well, good news is my discs and pads look quite new now, I know it looks rusty but remember this van hasn't been anywhere and it's nice and evenly worn there's no scores or anything it's a little bit of a, a lip there but that's to be expected but the main thing is the pads there's plenty of meat on them as well so yeah they've not done many miles at all so I'm pleased with that right let's get on and paint the wheels now before you all start screaming at your screens, don't worry, I've put axle stands under my van. Right, now, when I was doing the woodwork on my van, I saved all these bits of sandpaper for one reason, and that is to do my wheels. As you can see, it doesn't do it a lot of good. I've already done this a little bit, just to save a bit of time. But basically all I'm going to do is rub this around here, get rid of all the rust that's on the wheels, because I want to paint these wheels before I put my nice new tyres on. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. Shut up. <coughs> the wheels themselves are in pretty good condition. There's only this little bit of spot here that's got a bit of rust on it. it looks like it's been curved as well. It's right where the weight is. But um, all I want to do is clean most of this off, spray it with black paint, and then we're done. <laughs> Once I go to get new tyres, I'll go and see my mate Charlie as soon as he opens up his shop again, get me new tyres put on. When he, when he takes these old tyres off, before he puts the new tyres on, I've no doubt in my mind he'll let me respray them anyway. So this is just like to get rid of most of the nastiness to save time at the tyre shop. Because he might get the ump otherwise, I don't want to hold him up. So all I've done is basically clean most of this off. That'll do. Not going to be too fussy about it. Next thing, just some old leftover thinners, just to wipe it over. Get rid of any oil or grease. Not that there is any. I've also got some from the pound shop, a pound of tin. Actually, I'm going to try this one. Perfect. Scissors. 
Right now I'm not going to mask it up all the way around, I'm just going to make a template like this. I'm doing this. Like that. Let's see I've made a little knife. Uncut it round. Oh, it might be too windy. Not wearing a mask. But in this wind, I'm surprised the paint's going where I want it. <laughs> show you this trick with the masker with the uh, template that's the idea of this video for those of you that are wondering I'm doing this in real time so you can see how easy it is to do oops got some on the tire One painted wheel, simple. Beautiful. Might have enough. Two cans of this I've got. Might just have enough for all four wheels. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So let's pop this back on and see what it looks like. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Now considering. I reckon I can do two wheels with one can, that's one pound, so that's 50p a wheel, 50 pence, and 10 minutes work. What a result! <laughs> Not bad, I don't think. Well, there you go. If you found this video useful, mildly entertaining, please do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And by subscribing to my channel, you help me feed a cat, and I've got two, and they're both hungry. Thanks for watching. Todd off an hour.
back on. Line it up with the little stubs. Oh. <laughs> Take two. 